Hey, this is Scott of DarkVBonsai.com. Today I want to go over a quick tip that I have with Photoshop and Actions. There is a facility in Photoshop to save your actions. If you go into Photoshop, and this is version 5.1, you can load actions, save actions. However, I don't, I don't use that. It's, it's possible it works just fine, but an easier way is to copy the actions file, default file, and save that. And then you can <clears throat> copy it back into the proper directory and it should work fine. What I do, or previously what I had done was copy my actions from when I was using Linux with Photoshop and Windows emulation. I deregistered that and now I'm back on Windows for the time being because I had, uh, was having issues. Anyways, I have my actions palette.psp file. This is the file that you need where all of your actions should be stored by default. And then you can easily just search, you know, the, the file, your directories and all that to find that file with any standard type of thing like Windows Explorer. So I have here, I did a quick search for that actions space p-a-l-e-t-t-e -T -T -E p-s-p file and then it shows where it showed up. I only have one file here and it's, these, it's just users directory, my user directory, app data, roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CS 5.1 That'll be different based on your version. And this is Windows Vista, so it could be slightly different depending on if you're using a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. This one is 64-bit. So I have my original palette file, action palette. I'm just going to copy that. Right-click on this found place and in Vista, you've got an open file location. Otherwise, you can browse directly to that area. I'm just going to paste my original in and replace the previous one. You can see this file size is quite a bit different. 74 kilobytes and 21. So I just did that. I'm going to reopen Photoshop. See if my actions are still in there. See, I have all of my previ previous actions now. Quite a few different ones that I had made over the years. Ones that I used for doing standard resizing or making articles where I merge different pieces of a file together to make it smaller. So that's about it. Pretty simple way to back up your Photoshop action without using their standard methods. I had seen previously someone use the load and save actions method but it kept resetting itself. So in this case it's just going to work. Pretty simple. One thing you probably want to make certain of is that your actions palette file is not read-only. So you just right click on the file and make sure that it's not read-only so that it can be changed as you add new actions or modify it and stuff. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks.